Hey guys, it's Sabrina, and I'm back to talk to you about down payment assistance, specifically the Chinoa or Chinoa program. However it's pronounced, doesn't matter. And honestly, you won't need to know if you're working with a lender that knows you need down payment assistance. They're going to run all the programs to see what best fits you. But here's how to qualify. Three things that will help you qualify for this wonderful program that will give you up to 5% um, that you need down on a home. So the first thing is credit score. The credit score, bare, bare, bare minimum, has to be at least 600. If you're applying with someone else, they're not going to average the scores of a 620 and a 580. Both of you need to have scores over a 600. The three of you going on the loan, over a 600. Everybody's scores have to be over 600. To get the pop, best possible interest rates, the score needs to be over a 640. And with the better interest rates, you get a better monthly payment. The lower your interest rate that you can get, the lower your monthly payment will be. And so you want to get your score as high as possible before going under contract and solidifying that loan. Unless you're building your own home and then you have whatever the time limit is to build that home to get your score over the 640, the financing portion is done in the last 30 days of the build of a new construction home. So credit score, 600 bare minimum. 600 for everyone going on the application. Best possible rate, 640 credit score. The next thing you need to know are the income limits. Now there are no, um, the average median income, there's no average median income limits used for this Chinoa down payment assistance program. Now to get the best possible rates, if you make below 135% of the average median income in your area, then you'll get the better rate available, but it's not required. There are no income limits. And so for Dallas County and Kaufman County, it's gonna be $97,400. And then for Tarrant County, which is our Fort Worth area, it's gonna be $92,300. If you make in the person that you're applying with, you alone earn over that amount, you can still qualify for down payment assistance. The people who qualify for lower than that amount are just going to get more. And actually, that's the average median income. 135% of those for Dallas would be $131,400. And for Tarrant County, Fort Worth area, it's going to be $124,600. So as long as your family earns under that amount, which is 135% of the average median income, you will get the best possible rate, um, interest rate for this loan on your home. Now, the third really, really important thing to understand about down payment assistance programs is the majority of the time, although they are a grant, they are considered a second lien. And the second lien, right, the first lien would be the initial mortgage, the lien being the amount that you need to pay back so that the home becomes yours and no longer belongs to whoever is funding your loan. The second lien is the amount of money that they give you in down payment assistance is put in a separate lien, a separate loan per se, on the back end of your loan. And the expectation is that you pay on time every month and you could get that completely removed from your loan where you won't have to pay it back at all. So with three and a half percent, if you get a three and a half percent um, down payment assistance from the Shinoa program, as long as you make 36 consecutive on time payments, that amount that you have received, that three and a half percent, completely goes away. You will no longer owe that, um, and you can move forward without having that on the back end of your loan. That second loan is zero interest, is down payment assistance, but the goal is that you become a good homeowner and make those on time payments. Now, if you use the five percent, that is the maximum that you can get. For that, you would need to make 120 on-time payments in that loan. I believe that's 10 years worth. Um, yes, 10 years of loan payments made on time to get that completely removed. And three and a half percent is what you would need to put down on an FHA loan. So that's really the max that you would need. If you have any questions, please put them below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.